Okay, I had an idea. This park is where I had my first date with March, specifically on that park bench. And when I first got my 3D printer, I thought, what if I just made that, but like smaller? The only problem is I have no idea how to do any of it. And I have a pretty bad habit of giving up as soon as things get just a little bit hard. But this can't be that hard, right? The first step really wasn't that hard. All I had to do was measure the table and then realize I'd missed some measurements. So go back to the park and, and measure the table again and then do that again. But in my head, I was thinking picnic table, five or six wooden planks sitting on top of some legs and you're done. But it turns out this picnic table is sitting on top of ornate, fancy as hell, metal legs, they're in this Y shape, there's a hole in the middle, there's a logo, it's in all the dimensions. And like I said, I, I have no idea how, how to do, do any of it. But luckily, I found this guy, Michael from Teaching Tech. If you're just getting into CAD or 3D printing, go check out his playlist 3D Design for 3D Printing. I went from not even knowing what software I should be using to being able to model these basic planks to learning how to replicate these ornate metal legs by tracing photos. So if you are new to like CAD design or 3D printing and you somehow don't already know about teaching tech, definitely head over there, check out the channel. There's so much good information. Thanks, Michael. All right, so this is what I have. I have a plank with these holes in it here for mounting. I've got this cross beam and then I've got these flat half legs and the big plan is I super glue them together because I don't know, glue sticks things together. So this is what I've ended up with and it has taken me a long time to get to this point but as happy as I am with this, that table at the park is not white plastic, it's wood. And if you've watched as much 3D printing YouTube as I have, and come on, you definitely have, you know exactly where this is going. I watched so many videos on YouTube about how to print with wood or print with metal, and it looked pretty complicated and I thought, hey, I'm just a beginner, so I'll probably just focus on the basics for now. And then I instantly changed my mind and went online and bought this. This is wood fill filament from 3D and the color I went with was wood because you know wood and then I also got this stainless steel uh, filament from Protopaster and it's stainless steel composite I looked at all the different type of metal composite filament you could get and I just went with the one that looked closest to the color of whatever metal the park bench is made from and they both printed out pretty much like regular PLA so I printed the parts out in wood and metal and as cool as that is, they kind of ended up just looking like brown plastic and gray plastic. So they're gonna need a bit of finishing to make them look legit. The first thing I wanted to do is see if I could get a bit of wood texture on the planks. I figured out I could do that by using Idea Maker. Idea Maker is a slicer that, okay, I don't really know anything about Idea Maker, but you can use it to put texture on your prints. Uh, if you want to see how I did it, I followed tutorials from 3D Printer Noob, CNC Kitchen, and Lost in Tech. So go check out those videos if you're interested. But for me, it was on to finishing. Well, almost. Okay, so the plan was to just film it all. Just film the whole design, make, finish process, and, and make a video. But do you know what's harder than learning how to make stuff? Learning how to make stuff whilst also learning how to make videos about learning how to make stuff. So, new plan. Just make it. I'll just focus on making the table and one of the bench seats as best as I can. And then after that, I'll learn all about YouTube and filmmaking and lighting and editing. And then when it's time to make a video, I'll just film myself making the second bench seat and use it as b-roll but we'll get to that first i thought i should make a video about getting my new printer becoming a maker and about all the things that i made before i finished the picnic table 
And uh, it turned out that making videos is kind of hard and time consuming. I just spent 15 minutes trying to get a 30 second shot and I finally got it and this bloody thing says card full. God damn it. I watch so much YouTube about how to make videos, about lighting, about editing, about how to start a I new YouTube channel. I wrote down ideas, gave myself scripts and shot lists. I bought the gear I thought I needed, but then all my shots look like crap and I kept changing my scripts and all my ideas suddenly seemed really dumb. I almost just took a break. And when I take a break, they tend to last for years. So one morning a few weeks ago, I just thought, F it, we'll do it live. I've just got to put something out there. I'll just finish off the one video I have and upload it to YouTube. And then what, every couple of weeks, I'll just make a new average video and upload it. They won't be very good and no one will watch them, but at least I'll be doing something. At least I would have started. And then, well, this happened. So that first video that I've been working on for a while, I uploaded it on, on Sunday morning. I'd had like 30 views on the video and half of them were me and I had three subscribers. And then I woke up this morning to like 350 views. Over two and a half thousand views. Over 7,000 views. Uh, almost 250 people have subscribed. Over 500 subscribers and six amazing positive comments so many nice comments people watched it and and people liked it and that's that's wild so that's really exciting um i'm nervous because now i feel like i've promised something it's like it's good it's good um, but it's also terrifying i am exhausted from looking at numbers go up people were watching they were liking, they were subscribing, they, they thought it was good and they were commenting and saying they liked the video, the shots, they want to sponsor me, they liked the editing, the story, then they were excited to see more. That video took months to make. The picnic table video is nothing, it's barely more than a script. I've got hardly any b-roll and all I have is a shot of me in the park saying I have an idea and now PCBWay want to sponsor my next video? This video? Now? You know PCB way. They can do all that stuff that you don't have the skills or the gear to do just yet. Like PCB manufacturing, CNC machining, injection molding. They do 3D printing too, and I can do 3D printing, but I can't print real metal. And they can. I've already ordered some custom parts from them. It was super easy to just upload my files and get an instant quote. But their support is going to mean that my dumb little projects actually have some quality parts in them. So. Go check them out in the link in the description. I need B-roll. I need to make that second bench, like, now. Yeah, maybe don't leave them lying out in direct sunlight to dry, or you'll end up with boomerangs. <laughs> I'm gonna try and jank. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and jank this together. It's definitely. Don't do this. This is a bad idea. What I'm doing right now is a bad idea.
Where's the... I'm missing one of the planks. So this guy might have turned out a little wonky, but overall I'm super happy with how it turned out and I've got some cool shots of it in just a second. But first, I really just wanted to say what a wild ride this whole thing has been. From being amazed at the fact that I can even make something like this to just being blown away by you guys and the response to my first video. Uh, just wanted to say thank you to everyone, especially to Tommy Horton, who's another maker who saw my video and just gave me a bunch of helpful advice and support. So please go check out his channel. And yeah, all the files for this are on my printables profile. If you think you can do a better job, take that, remix it and do a better job and upload a remix to printables. That would be awesome. Um, other than that, Look at this cool thing I made.